this game is about how to beat arc light obviously it's just one game and one situation but hopefully you can see how you can easily play around them they are slow and building them early game means you don't have many fangs or crawlers and when the late game approaches you don't have enough deployments for the chaff this was uh, recorded live in my twitch stream so it has less analyzing as my previous youtube videos but if you don't understand something you can comment on the video and i will try to explain it what the hell is this i don't want to play this Jump drive. Elite marksman. If someone has elite marksman, that's for sure an indicator he places the phoenixes right like here, right? So I think we just bum rush this guy. Yeah, some technologies give away a lot of like uh, of your play playstyle as player. Like for sure he deploys here, right? Yeah. This is arc carry. I like to play against this. I haven't tried it yet myself though. To go this. This is full arc light. We'll go for anti air. Surely he builds like Mustangs, right? Like look at my board. Mustangs are really good against this. But so are Arclights.
Hey time, thanks for the raid. How did you stop this early? Fuck, what, what the hell was I doing? It's okay, we can save the money. It's, it's completely fine. Easy save 600 and still win the round. Ah, so you are going back on, hopefully. I hope so, because I'm not streaming that long. Now we need to focus on the game at hand. Well, this is just perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Hey, I don't have money. in this yet no right hopefully these guys don't die this turn Yes, too bad the game will end in a couple of turns. I like to build like 15 fortresses here against these arc lights. I was just about to I was just about to say that he can't go melting points with this composition, right? But he has the ba barrier ready. Otherwise, I would have taken the shield for these guys. But now we go this We run away from the melting point. Which one do we sell next turn? Probably the Phoenixes. Abandon ship. Oh. 
fuck. I forgot, forgot about the overlord. I actually thought about it while in the card selection screen. I was gonna jump drive. Phoenix is here, but then I forgot. This is actually pretty bad. These are too fast as well, probably. He won't die here, right? Is it worth to nuke the middle? No, right. These were pretty good last turn though. I really want to shield, but it's too expensive. We can barrier here, so the tanks get in front of the melter. I think it's worth it. Maybe here also. Oh, it's a new. That was unexpected. All my guys will die. Great wall of fortress. Does it again? 